I'm Master at Arms, Surface Warfare, Expeditionary Warfare, Brett Lucini, Crew Serve Weapons Instructor, on board the Guided Missile Destroyer USS Jason Dunham. We're currently operating in the 5th Fleet Area of Operations, here to support maritime security and stability in the Central Region. Today we're out here qualifying some of our personnel on the Crew Serve Weapons to include the M240 machine gun and the M2HB 50 caliber machine gun. The purpose of these weapon systems is self-defense of the ship. We use them in our everyday operations to defend against any threats or would-be adversaries we'd have come our way. Or if we're conducting a straits transit, moving through a choke point, we'll have our SCAT team manned up, providing 360 degree security for the ship. 50 cal, we've got several of them mounted around the ship. You can realistically reach out to one nautical mile, effectively engage the target, which is pretty good when you're trying to defend a ship from a further distance. It gives us that time and opportunity to classify the threat and engage the threat as necessary. M240 Bravo, it's a 7.62 millimeter machine gun. Lighter to carry, we can implement it on the go. We tend to use it as a uh, roving machine gun, so we can set a gunner up and have them anywhere they can find stable support. So when we're teaching sailors, when we're qualifying them on the crew serve weapons, we're trying to make sure they're proficient on all aspects of the weapon. So we start them off with trigger control, firing one round, two round, three round. Rhythm shooting, short, short, long. And get them proficient at reloading the weapon. Throughout the process, we go through a couple different fundamentals. We teach them about remedial and immediate action. If something breaks, if it runs out of ammo, if there's an issue. We want them to know how to get the weapon system back up and get them back in the fight. We try to train our sailors to employ their weapon to the best of their ability because you never know when something is going to happen, whether they're asleep in their racks or if we're going through a choke point. They have to be ready 24-7.